Okay, I think it's time to get started. <laughs> so, in the last lecture, we talked about the stoichiometric table for the for the batch reaction. I mean, all the students here, it looks like not like fifty-five students, right? Yeah, we're afraid of the rain. The weather's a little rough. Yeah, the weather's a little rough out there. Okay. <laughs> it's like a slight <laughs> Okay, we can drive. So you need to derive, you need to derive, okay, the table by yourself. So here only shows you the more, right? You need to derive the concentration. I, I think the last time I derived it, okay? So here, sigma, some students, uh, I mean, that's probably the sigma. What's the sigma? Sigma i, nothing else, just with your fine, with your fine parameter, okay? So that means for species i, okay, the initial species i, zero, the initial more for the species i over species a. A is limiting species, okay, in, in the reaction. And then you also you will say actually in the flow system, same thing, you know, the more flow rate, we can also define, you know, the more flow rate, okay, ratio. So say all have zero here, zero here, that means the, it's the initial feed stop condition, okay. Of course, you know, so the more. The more flow rate, okay, equals concentration times the, the volumetric rate, right? So A, zero, and you have, so they are initial, okay? So we have same volumetric flow rate for the liquid system normally, right? So also you will say, so it's also the concentration concentration ratio and what's the concentration concentration ratio equal to the fraction of the more uh, why okay why what's why i zero that means uh, why n i zero total this is more fraction right why usually we use more uh, uh, use y express the more fraction so Awesome thing, right? Awesome thing. Okay. 
Okay, so <coughs> let's have one example, okay? Use the storage metric to calculate the conversion. So what's the problem? Okay, let's see what's the problem. <clears throat> Read the problem, okay? So ask you to calculate the equilibrium conversion for gas-based reaction. So what's the reaction? Reaction is 2A. So produce B, but it's a reversible reaction. Okay, it's a reversible reaction. And we know uh, the KC C is KC is actually it is And uh, we know uh the initial feeding concentration right uh ask you ask you to calculate uh, the experiment conversion for a for batch reactor so now we have the reaction is 2a to b okay so of course you have k a but uh, you have k minus a so minus a so the actual reaction so it tells you the it already tells you, okay, the root law, right? So the root law R A equal to well, it follows it follows the elemental reaction root law. So we talk about how to derive the uh, root law for the vertical conversion, right? Minus minus spec one, okay, spec one, C B, and we have K C. Okay, so this is the uh, uh, rich law. So, ask you to calculate the conversion. Uh, conversion. So, what we know, we know is the CA is zero, right? It's point two more per liter, per liter, right? And we know the KC equal to twenty. This is equal to liter, right? That's liter. Equal to liter. I, I prefer to use liter. Liter, so, right? Okay. So that's all we know, okay? And uh, ask you what's the equilibrium conversion? That's what we want to solve, okay? I mean. The, the 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 logic to solve any chemical reaction engineering problem the same you know do you remember so first of all i think we will start with what more balance maybe you you want to use it right now but uh, at least uh, you know to to write down write down here okay so step up one is the more balance for batch reactor because it asks you to calculate conversion. So we use the more balance in terms of conversion. So what's this uh, the more balance for batch reactor? Dx dt minus what? Minus r and then Yeah, I mean, okay. It's actually here should it be what should it be reaction rate. Should be reaction rate, right? <coughs> so normally, what you need to do actually, so n a zero, n a zero times yes, that's the tree, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. You can consider it's true. It's not the negative because it's true should be. N A zero one minus X, right? But you have should be N A zero here. Then it's what the more more change, right? But for the rest, do you know how, how we define the formula number R A? It's the concentration change with time, right? And this is more, so probably not enough, right? What you need? You need the volume divided by volume, then becomes the concentration, right? 
concentration over time. That's your reaction rate, you know? So it should be like this, you know? Okay, then we actually want to move to, so you will see like this way, you know? You just move this to the right hand. Is that correct? I don't remember because I, I derived it. You know? So let me check if it's correct or not. I think it's correct, right? Yes. The union, yes. right? Right, okay. So step two, what's step two? Step two is root law. Okay, so now we already know the root law, okay? The root law. So, we already know the risk law, so that's okay. This capital K, okay? This capital K, okay, risk law. And then step three. Step three is the store. So that means we need the concentration, right? <coughs> we need the concentration as a function of conversion. Right? As a function of conversion, right? So what's the what's the, the storage matter for the battery actor? We we already learned, right? We already learned. So uh, let me let me still give you okay. With one more time. So, start measure. So, you have species A and B, A and B, right? So, the initial, the initial is N, A is zero, and B is zero, okay? The initial, there's no B. Okay, so the chain, chain is uh, Actually, the conversion, right? Times and a zero is yes, the change. Okay, then what's the change for B? From the start to measure, what, what's for B? What's for B? One minus. Huh? Is it one minus? Is it one minus for B? B is the is product, right? So you are producing. So Okay. Yeah. So if you say the equation, okay, like this. So do a transformation. So what you need to do is a, okay, one half b. Then it's easy to find out. Okay, one more a chain. You have half b produced. Okay. So here the change that means if you have such change for a, you you have one half. This plus, this plus because uh, it's produced. A is minus. A is minus, right? Because uh, it's a react, it's a reactant. Then remaining, right? Remaining. So how much is still left in the battery reactor? Initial minus change. Uh, not minus, sorry. <laughs> Initial plus change. It's here is minus. Actually, it's a plus. Okay. Plus, right? Then it's actually the remaining, right? So then a zero. Because we already put the minus here, you know, so everything should be plus. Okay. Then you understand? Because we already can see it's a it's a reactant of product here. So initial plus change equal remaining. So for the B, one half, right? And a zero, zero x, and a zero x, right? <laughs> Remember our task, okay? We want to know the C a. We want to C a right as a function of x, right? So now what we have, right? We, we know the total. Now the total is the uh, n a zero one. A plus and a zero x. It's 
equal to how much? Equal to and a zero. One minus. Correct, right? It's correct. So next step. So next step is we want to know the concentration. We know that we want to know the concentration, right? Versus the conversion. If you, if you know that, I mean, then you can you can you can solve it, you know, because at equilibrium, you know, at equilibrium, the overall rate is zero. This is zero. But probably here you can say, right? If we know the CA as a function of X, we also know CB as a function of X, right? From the stock metric, right? Because overall, this is zero at equilibrium, then you can solve conversion. So from this analysis, we, I think it's easy to get, right? Okay, then how to how to get the concentration, right? How to get the concentration? Right? So uh, do you remember what's the so the concentration? So for the CA concentration equal to N A. B, right? So we know Na is the remaining, okay? So Na zero, one minus S. So divided by V, this it's a battery reactor. So the V down the chain, V down the chain, okay? The volume down the chain. So it's still zero. So that means it's equal C A zero, one minus x. Then for the CB, CB is NB, B. What's NB? NB is here. NB is here. So one half NA zero x divided by B zero, right? B equal, if I write V equal B zero, then it means for the battery axis, the volume down the chain. Okay, so if you want. So what's here? One half C A zero X. It's correct. <coughs> That's for the C B. This is for the C B, right? I'm here, okay. I'm, I'm going to erase this. It's okay. It's in, 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 the, in the screen, okay. Yeah. Any questions so far? Any questions so far? So here's a suggestion, okay. I, I hear from some students, you know, if he doesn't want, if he doesn't understand uh, uh, one thing, for example, during the lecture, he keeps thinking about it, you know, he doesn't follow me. So that's not a good situation, you know. If you don't understand, raise your hand, ask immediately, you know, you, you should follow me in the lecture, okay? And after class, read the textbook. And then if you find that you still have difficulty in understanding the textbook, then let me know because I need your feedback. Then I know, I mean, which one I should emphasize, you know, and which one I should talk about more, okay? Okay, now we are here, okay? So still remember our task is equivalent conversion. So means at equilibrium. This is equal to zero. <laughs> this is equal to zero, okay? So that means, K A C A C B A C that's equal to zero, okay? And that means uh, C A square C B A C. So what's C A? C A is there, okay? C A zero one minus uh, one minus x square. <laughs> Equal equal to C B C B C A zero X K C okay and we probably can cancel this one cancel this one 
So this is zero. Uh, so the k is not zero because so constant, right? So this is zero, right? And what do we have? So what we have is uh, okay, so two k c c a zero one minus x equal to one square x. Right? I mean they are constants. Okay. Can you solve it, right? This is all mathematical treatment. Can you solve this uh, equation? I think you can, right? Yeah. So eventually what we have, right? What we have is two K C C A zero equal to X. So now this x is to the e, you know, because we already set this to zero, the overall reaction rate is zero. That means this x is means at equilibrium, right? So you we know the case say we know say zero, you know, uh, the answer is eight. This is eight, right? This eight. Then you can solve x. Okay. So the x e equal to 0 0.7, around 0 0.7, around 0 0.7. Okay, you can you can solve by yourself. Okay. So if no question, I, I I'm going to move on. Okay. So now we are moving to the flow system. We are to the flow system. Okay, this is still batch x. So this is X. Here the X, okay. I still use well, I use X because this X is equal X E. Why? Because at equilibrium. Okay. I, I didn't I didn't show you because only at the last time. Okay, I show you. Okay, this is equilibrium conversion. Okay, that's exactly what we want. Okay. Yeah. I will upload the slide today. So I, I mean, I mean, uh, I actually, I may not actually upload the slides after every lecture because. I haven't finished it. No, you need to you need to read the textbook, not to read my slide. Yes. Slides can help you for your exam problem. After you read the textbook, okay. If you want to prepare exam, you can read the slide. So right now, what you need is you know if you if you learn a new knowledge, okay, a new course. So you have book. First of all, you need to make the book thicker. That means read it. And make a note. Even you may do not understand. You may refer to slide or refer to the other textbook. You know, write a lot of notes. Let's make the sick. And then after you finish it, you know, then you have to make the signal. Signal means what? Well, actually, it's only the, the 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 slide. You know, because slide is very concise. You know, right? So you need to understand the slide, and then you are get prepared for your exam. But right now. I don't think uh, just reading slides is a good, uh, I mean, uh, method, you know. You, you need to uh, follow, follow me in the lecture and read the textbook, okay? Okay, so now we are talking about the flow system, okay? Flow system storage matrix. <coughs> so, for example, now we for example, okay, we have uh, a flow system, okay.
So this is the flow uh, reactor. So normally it's a PFR or PBR. So what's the difference between PFR and PBR? Yeah, normally PBR you have catalyst back. Okay, so that means this reaction, this reaction needs some solid catalyst. PFR, uh, it's a, for example, it's a crack reaction. Okay, cracking. I mean, we don't need a solid catalyst. Okay, it's not natural. You just increase the temperature, you can crack it. Right, you can crack it. <coughs> no. Okay, so what we have? Okay, we have. Feed stop. We have feed stop. So what's this feed stop? For example, we have. I mean, still the reaction is still okay. We still use the general reaction, okay? B, C, plus. So A is the limiting. A is the limiting species, okay? So we have a lot of entry, okay? FA zero and FB zero, FC zero and FB zero. But sometimes you have an I inert. It's a balance gas, you know. It's balance gas. Then the outlet, outlet you have FA, right? You have FA. And FP, FC, FP. <coughs> Normally, the FT, FI, FI doesn't change, okay? Because it's inert. So, normally, this is the balance gas or inert gas. This reaction will normally happen. And all we call the balance gas. Balance gas. Okay. So for this system, for this system, right? What's the stock metric? What's the stock metric? Okay. So again, you know, we speed. Since we have A, B, C, D. Okay. <laughs> we have initial. Initial F A zero, okay, is F zero and F B zero. However, we already we remember we, we also define theta B. So that means right times F A zero. Same thing for the uh, C. We have F C zero equal to theta c f a zero and we have f b zero so in the normally i i do it okay it's constant so d f a zero okay then you have chain chain it means that after we have a conversion you know after you have x after conversion x so for A, the change is right. F A zero X. It's a minus. It's a minus, right? So now we can see in the batch reactor. In the batch reactor, we use more. In the flow react system, we use the more rate, right? It's you can you can you can do some uh, uh, analog, okay? Yeah. If for the batch reactor, you know, we use NA0. Remember? So for the flow system, the flow system, you have time. You have time. It's, you need to introduce another parameter, time. So more over time, that's more flow rate. Okay? And then for the B change, what's the change for B? Uh, what's the change for B from the story matrix? Right, it's still minus, right? <coughs> it's minus 
So we have no FA zero X. So we need to put something here. Yeah. Let's start with B over A. Right? B over A. Okay. B over A. Huh? And then for C, for C, C is plus, right? Still F A zero X, but for C, C over A. <coughs> C over A, right? And then for D, D over A, F A zero X. Then, I mean, for the for the exit or for the remaining, okay? We sometimes we call the remaining or we call the exit. Or if, if no, no, okay? So for A, it's easy, right? Still, plus, let's equal the remaining, okay? So that means F a zero I for B for B you have uh, F A zero sigma B minus B over A X right and for F C it should be F A zero sigma C plus C O A X and F or F A zero. Okay, because we want to minimize, we want to minimize the variable. So all based on F A zero. So C and D plus B over A X. What is what's theta again? Theta. What is yeah? What's theta? The theta. Okay. Theta we just define. Okay. For example, for B. Okay. You define the initial. It's it's all related to the initial feeding condition. Okay, it's N D zero over N A zero. And for the flow system, so F D zero. F A zero. Okay. So what's F D zero? F D zero equals theta B times F A zero. Okay. <coughs> and then you can add them together, you know. You can add them together. So this F T. And them together, you will find this F T zero by plus C F A zero X. So what's the sigma? We define it. We define it so plus C A minus. That's we get the last time, right? Same thing. That means this this kind of means uh, the total more chain for more of a chain. Okay. But still, I mean, right now we what we need, we we, we need is the concentration, right? We need is the concentration. So I'm going to write down here and no space here. Okay, so the concentration. Concentration. Concentration, okay, C. So now what we need, I do you remember? What we need is actually we want to correlate the concentration as a function of x. Okay. Now we all, we have we already have the more flow rate. <coughs> so 
F A or flow rate equal to what? Equal to say A times the volumetric the flow rate, vol volumetric rate, right? Volumetric rate. Okay, that's F A. So that means say A equal to F A divided over actor volumetric rate. Now volumetric rate. Okay. So if if we can see, okay, it's liquid phase. If it's a liquid phase, we know if it's a liquid phase, so the volumetric rate is a constant, right? Because the density, if we assume the density is under change, right? So the volumetric is uh, is a constant. Then what we have? We have C A equal to F A equal to F A. But in this initial volumetric rate. <coughs> and what's F A? F A is here. You already calculated. F A is here, right? So we substitute FA is FA zero one minus X. So FA zero over U zero. That's the initial CA concentration. That's the initial CA concentration. But This is only a value for the liquid phase. This is only valid for liquid phase. Okay. This is only I, I would emphasize, okay. This is only valid for liquid phase. Okay. Then for C B. And right down here. Okay. Now we have A we know right. So C So we already got the C A, right? <coughs> it's C A zero, but this only for condition is for the liquid liquid phase. Okay, it's only for the liquid phase. Then what's the C B? Same thing, right? C B over mu and what's the C B? C B is over there. So we need F. C zero theta b minus b over a x. Okay, that's equal to C a zero theta b minus b over a x. So this is for b. We have b now. Okay, C a zero okay so we have theta b theta b is for the initial for the initial so you, you can you can i mean it's very easy to actually remember it you know for example if you compare a and b right so for a we have one here why we have one here because theta a equal to one right theta one equal to one right Theta one, you can see theta a equal to one, right? This is because f a zero over f a zero, right? So it's one, right? And about for b, you have theta b. Okay? And now you put the initial uh, storage metric here. For a, the initial of uh, the storage metric is one with respect to a itself. But for b, you have the storage metric b over a. Right, say minus minus because it's a it's a it's a reactor. Then you can get C. Probably you can get a C, right? What's C? 
C is C to the C zero, sigma epsilon, theta C plus C over A. Yes. Right? <coughs> you can do the analog. And for D, so what's the D? D is C A zero, theta B plus B over A. Right. But this only for what? This only for the liquid phase. It's only for the liquid phase, right? And uh, after class. What we need to do is you need to derive this thing. Okay, derive by yourself. No, make sure you can you can get the right solution. <coughs> okay. Yes. Okay. So for the liquid phase, so that means uh, we. Normally, you know, uh, we assume the volume down the chain. Okay, the volume down the chain. So the volumet volumetric rate down the chain. That's important uh, assumption for the liquid phase. Only, the, only we have this assumption, you can arrive at this conclusion. Okay. Then for the gas phase. Gas phase, it's, total, it's a totally different story. We will talk about next, uh, probably the next lecture. Okay, so different, okay. Gas phase is different. Okay, so <coughs> we have the uh, uh, sorting measure, right, for the liquid system. So what we are going to do, you know, So what we are going to do is, for example, so we know the uh, root law. So flow system, flow system, okay, flow system. Okay. So if we know the rate of reaction, okay, right? And also you know the you know the stock measure, right? So just uh, substitute C A C B use the conversion equation. Is it conversion, right? So you can reach to this equation. This R A as a function of conversion. That's what exactly we are looking for, because in the design equation, that means in the more balanced equation. Okay, right? We we need to find out R A as a function of conversion. So we 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 are here. We can get. We can get it right. So. How we get it? So first of all, we, we, we have the root law. Second, we have the spot metric. And combine them together, we can get the RA as a function of X. That's the logic is clear. Is clear. Any question to, to get this uh, equation? Yeah, I don't understand. Okay. You don't understand, you ask, okay. Okay. So I'm going to erase it. Okay. Uh, probably you forgot. Okay. So if you want to solve this uh, the design equation, <coughs> what we need is okay. So we need to find out R A. Okay, R A as a function of conversion. Right. So say one first step. I mean, you need R A for for example, you need the root law. In in this case, we already know. Okay, we already know the root law. Okay, okay, C A, C B. That's the root law. That's the root law. But you can say in the root law, we can only correlate R A with concentration, not the conversion. So the second step is the. How can we know, okay, R A, R B, as a function of conversion? That's from the stoichiometry. 
table. That's we just derived here. We just derived here. Okay. So we now we know C A, C B. Okay. Then what we need to do? We just uh, put back to the equation one, right? So that means R A equal to K. What's C A? C A is here. C A zero. One minus x. What's C B? C B is C A zero and theta B. Okay, so that equals K C A zero squared. One minus x. Theta B. Now it's clear. This logic is like this way. Okay. Now you get it. So what's the what's the more balance for the PFR. Can, 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 can you tell me the more variance equation? So, for example, V equals what? Uh, Integrated. Do you remember? From zero to x. Huh? From zero to x. FA zero minus RA D one. Is it correct? Say I think it's correct or not, okay? So uh, uh, it's more, right? Uh, I think it's correct, okay? It's correct. So now you know, okay? <laughs> FA zero is constant, okay? So if you integrate it, if you can plot, if you can plot FA zero minus Ah, okay, x, right? For example, if you can plot like this way, then you can calculate the volume, right? How to get the volume? Volume, for example, right? We from the conversion one to point five. I ask you to calculate the, the volume of the PFR. This is the, the area, is the volume, right? Why? For integration, you know. For the integration, I. This one times dx integrated this area. But how you can plot it? How you plot it? This you need to know r as a function of x. Right now we have. Then you can plot it. Right? And the plot it, then you can you can calculate the v from the uh, from the graph. Okay. Yes. Say again. So, like the R is on the bottom of the So, actually, I, I talked about this logic again and again, you know. I mean, so it's very important. It will actually. I mean, through the whole, I mean, through the whole actually the, the class, you know, that's the logic actually, right? I mean, more variance, we already, I mean, it's fixed, you know, we, we cannot do much, you know. And uh, you probably you can see the most difficult one is the root law, you know, how to determine the root law. We will have another lecture, so after stoichiometry, we'll talk about, you know, how actually, Determine the root law from the experiment data. <laughs> and the stoichiometry is easy, it's fixed. For liquid phase, it's easy, but for gas phase, a, a little bit uh, uh, difficult, uh, it's different story. But combine them together, you can solve this uh, reactive design uh, problem. You know, any more question? Any more question? If not, so what's the time now? Okay, we still have time. Okay, <coughs> good. So I'm I'm going to move on to the gas phase. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 
Catch face. Gas phase will be a little bit uh, different from the liquid phase because now we cannot assume the uh, volumetric rate is a constant. So it's not valid, right? So what we need to do in a way, we can assume this is still uh, an idea gas, right? So what's the, what's the state of equation for the idea gas? You learn it in the, in the super dynamics, right? So normally it's PV, right? PV and uh, NRT, or some people use Z, you know, and Z is more. Or they use sometimes some people use N, right? NRT or ZRT. So that's you, I think that you have learned, you know, right? And uh, so, Also, you know, I mean, NRT, you know, okay, I still use NRT. Also, you know, in addition to this idea gas, normally also what we will include is the compressed, compressed bit. So the Z, Z, we call compressibility. Compressibility factor. Compressibility factor. You know. And uh, for the idea gas, okay, the, we assume the compressibility factor is a constant. This is a constant. Okay. Then what you have? Okay. So you have P. So this is the right. P divided by Z R T. You have Z. You have N divided by V. N is a more, V is a column. So this is a concentration. So this is a concentration, right? So this is a concentration. And now for the whole gas phase, okay? For the whole gas phase. So we know the initial concentration, total CT0, total gas concentration at feed stop equal to P, equal to P0, right? Initial divided by uh, Z, 0, R, T, 0. R is a constant, okay, as a gas. The gas uh, constant, okay. And uh, for Ft zero, Ft zero still is the Ct zero right times the volumetric rate. And for Ft Ct, so here. So here, pay attention here. This not always uh, the same thing. That means uh, the volumetric rate, right? The volumetric rate changes. Okay. So I move here. Okay, I move here. So what we are going to do is okay. So let's say let's say F. So this equation, right? That's Ft over at the left side. Okay, it's minus Ft zero equal to C T C T mu and C T zero mu zero. So what's the C T? <coughs> we can get it from here. The T over Z R T, right? And what's CT zero? CT zero is P, P zero and Z zero R T O mu zero. And we assume, okay, the compressed 
ability factor than the trick. Okay, so that means this is still zero R T T zero. Okay, we can cancel this one. Cancel this one. So what do we have? We need to have let's see. So that means, okay, that means, so mu, mu will be equal to Ft, Ft0, so P0, P, T, T0. Okay, so now we, we get the relationship between the initial volumetric rate and the final volumetric rate, they are not equal. They are not equal, okay? It's not like the liquid phase. For the liquid phase, we can assume, you know, we can assume the, the more flow rate is equal, okay? And we don't have any, we, 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 we don't have any density change. So <coughs> this, this term also is a constant. So that's why the volumetric flow rate is then change. But for the gas phase, it changes. It changes. Okay. So it's not equal anymore. <coughs> it's not equal anymore. So we will stop here. You know, we will continue uh, our project.